All right, YouTubers that like diecast, uh, Altered Autos diecast. This is my workroom. Uh, we just moved. I had started in our previous house uh, working on diecast, selling them and trading them and uh, remods and whatnot and collecting them. And so this here is going to be my diorama table right here as I come in my workroom. I'm just not there with it yet. Uh, started at the top, but that's not not uh, official or final. Uh, okay, there's some of my collection. Uh, these are my Corvettes. I'm not going to go through each year and model, but you can take a peek at them there. Uh, and then uh, moving on into the room, you can see one of my workbenches in the corner there. Uh, as I said, we just moved in, so I'm getting settled. Uh, there's a lot of tools there I've got to clean up off that workbench. And there's my drill press with a tow truck on top. And to your left, when you come in the door here, is my M2 collection. I'm going to kind of move in the room here. You can just take a peek at some of my collections. They're quite all over the place here. Uh, some of them have fallen off there. That's my... All my orange hot rods, my orange collection, there's all sorts of cars in there, but they're all orange. Anything with orange on it or solid orange goes there. Uh, back to coming in the door here, my Texaco lighted sign. and uh, These are my tuned collection, all of my tuned versions that I have. And there's a couple uh, old Hummers in there that aren't tuned, but they're about the same size. So they got stuck with those because I have Hummer tuned uh, Hummers there in that collection and then of course I bought a Hot Wheels 50 pack and that's part of that each car is in its own spot there and it's got its own name I'm not going to go through each name of these cars there's my red hot rod collection my favorites being of course to the right the super birds and whatnot that's by the light switch coming in the door again there's the diorama table I'm inside the door there and here's the M2 collection and of course uh really don't have the room to display them all but you can see down through the top I've got a few of them there and uh, then behind those uh, stacked on top of my Hot Wheels little car wash city setup you can't really see but the corner of it there that white dingy plastic there that unfolds into a Hot Wheels car wash city you can see the label on it there car wash and service station uh, and then of course some more M2's and if you look I don't have a lot of light here. I Forgive me for that. I haven't got it all set up yet. But there's my collection of Ford vans and VW vans by M2. And of course that pegboard is going to hold a collection. But there's nothing there yet. Moving on. Uh, up here on the high shelves. Uh, start with a gas monkey vet. And then of course you get into my surfing collection. Which has my, uh, oh, my what are they, Dioras got a collection of Dioras there uh, and anything to do with surfing of course or the beach beach patrol whatnot get up top uh, of course that's a gas pump there and a couple old uh, well let's see what do you got there as a Porsche and a old uh, Rolls Royce silver ghost on the racks there and then of course there's just some odds and ends across the top there if you can get a catch of it there, I'll get a better view in a minute. In fact, I'll get over there now. As you go by here, though, you get Auto World and Johnny Lightning. Uh, some series that I'm starting there. Um, then below that, you've got some series, the Forza series, uh, on the next shelf there. And then the Hot Wheels Honda series. Uh, all together there and then some loose cars just collected loose ones whatnot next shelf you got a bunch of uh, Hot Wheels muscle cars just different variations and different uh, models uh, I'm a I'm a Nova freak so uh, you'll be seeing a lot of those as I go of course you uh, see all the other collector items I've got there all carded and loose and then you just keep going down shelf by shelf if I can back up here you can see those mini buses I've ordered those overseas but they're kind of neat they're not American uh, just a collector's series of little mini buses in between the shelves there and then of course you get down here and there's a, a nice matchbox old batch box 
And again, I'm not going to go through all the models. We've got a couple Toys R Us racing, Darlington racing uh, sets. I'm not going to open. I, they may go up for sale, being that they have Toys R Us on the label. And, uh, of course, everybody knows Toys R Us is gone. But anyway, I don't want to make this video long, so I'm just going to start shooting and moving forward pretty quick. Uh, just showing off what I've got here a little bit. If I can get up off the floor. Okay, that's closet where uh, I keep my clothes. My wife won't let me keep her clothes in the bedroom. She took the closet over. So my playroom got taken over uh, the closet I have to use for my clothes. On the wall here, some trucks in a 7-up case uh, or crate. Uh, here's Hot Wheels truck series. And then, of course, there's some odds and ends in there. Again, I'm going to kind of move fast here. Uh, some decor there decorations on my wall and get over here and you've got my bone shaker collection uh, And then some odds and ends in with the bone shakers Hot rods and whatnot And there's my old railroad crossing light which works. Of course, like I said that desk is a mess Okay display over here of Hot Wheels gift sets And then there's some fast and furious and some matchbox uh, just a display of carded and uh, packaged Hot Wheels. Some neat ones in those collections that I think may one day uh, be worth something. That's my window. Some collector pieces back in there. Uh, moving on. Here's my other workbench, the top of it. That's my Moon Eyes collection up top. And then, of course, in here, that 50 car set I spoke of earlier. Most of the little carded Hot Wheels are in this shelving. Uh, that's my color changers. Uh, and then over there is my Zaymac collection, but they're not all up there. You see some of them behind my golf station over there on my workbench. Laying on this workbench is a lot of, uh, or a lot of projects. Cars that are awaiting to be remodeled. Uh, quite a few of them there. And I'll show you what I'm working on now. In fact, I just got done JB welding it and then, uh, sanding it and then smoothing it out with some Tamiya putty. That's going to be a, a, oh, a dually tanker with a Chevy old square body on the, on the front end. It's going to be slammed to the ground. And, of course, you see the engine it has there. Just got it. It's uh, in body work. About finished. If, you're, if you've seen my first video in my old house, but it's about the only one I did because I knew we were going to move. I didn't make many. But that square body cab... I had made tandem axle or was working on it. I never finished it and uh, it just kept falling apart on me. So I went a different route and you'll notice the back end of this, the tanker back end. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. You'll notice that's Hot Wheels car culture. I forget what they call that tanker, but uh, you, you'll recognize that. That's made in a couple different variations, but uh, it's going to be a uh, dually tanker, hot rod tanker. Okay, moving on. Uh, just some workbench stuff there and some houses and a couple matchbox I just I want to open, but I can't. So let me move on. Here's my orange hot rods. As I said, some of them fell off on me. So uh, kind of a bit of a mess right now. Let me see if I can get the ones that fell out of the way. At least we can see the display. You see some of those have fallen. But uh, all stuff with orange, orange on it. Anything orange is... Uh, in this collection, my golf van, cargo van, and uh, see a couple empty spots. That's what fell. There's an M2 hot rod and a couple M2s in there. And then, of course, you see all these up front with orange on them. Uh, moving on beside that is my high collection again. The top of it, you see the RC boat there. I do RCs also. I've got planes and boats, and uh, that's one of the boats. That's a little plastic boat there. You see my uh, shopping buggy and wagon hot rods, my school bus and forklift, old school stuff. Got a 100th edition vet there, Hot Wheels Gold. And then my G2 uh, Nova. As I said, I'm a Nova for another gas pump. There's an old collection of hot rods um, for Hot Wheels. A gas pump and my other RC boat and a few hot rods underneath that. And I uh, showed you my beach patrol now moving on to the center of this display you have some of my uh, higher end hot rods hot wheel hot rods 
the nicer ones that are better conditioned that are loose. See if I can get a close up there. There's again, I, I'm a Nova freak, so you're gonna see Novas in there. Uh, just some loose Hot Wheels. Uh, you got a couple uh, larger Jeeps back there. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure who made those Jeeps. It's that's his green light, green light Jeep back there in the box, and there's one over here, Falcon Jeep. Uh, nice Jeeps. I've got a Jeep, so I'm a Jeep freak as well. Uh, a couple loose cars there. That's my Mustang collection. And then beside that again is these Hot Wheels Hot Rods. And above that, that's a slot car there that's worth some money. I paid a good price for it, but it's went up in value. Uh, see if we can get a close-up on that. That's a Lola T60. Uh, first Daytona Grand Finale, 1982. Danny or on Gaius and uh, Ted Field. That's a double lot slot car. Uh, I like the body lines and I like the color. Just a sweet looking right, uh, slot racer. And I, I'm into slot racing, but I don't have any of that up. And I may be selling my stuff. I've got about four tracks and a lot of stuff with them that may go up on eBay soon. That's just a plastic model of a race car there. Uh, there's one of my Camaros higher end Camaro there, nice collector's piece. Um, and then moving on to the end of this display, that's all my, that's a team hot wheel, hot team, oh, excuse me, Hot Wheels team racer there, the blue one. I started that collection with that car, the collection of cars that the, the motors in the back and the hoods raise up. And there's a line of those. And then a few odds and ends down here, loose cars. And then of course in the case, I've got my tow trucks and I remodded that green Chevy truck and made it a convertible as you can see the tops kind of Laying in the back of it at this point. That's not where I had it But it got moved when I set the case up there and I haven't gotten back to it on top of the case You got uh, some collector's pieces there um, And then of course I remodded this this was an old uh, SpongeBob I don't, it's Hot Wheels, but I don't know. I guess it was sold in Walmart It was a it was just leveled out uh, convertible it's like a 55 Chevy and I made it a gasser that monster engine on that thing put the gold wheels on it and then a Datsun pickup beneath that and some other loose odds and ends there's a remod I made of an old General Lee she's looking pretty nice slammed in the back with some white uh, big wide meaty tires and then uh, of course I put an orange stripe on the back with the Mopar symbol on it and the big engine and, of course, I left it kind of rustic looking. Uh, back to the front of this display is my uh, dragsters. All my drag racing cars and my F1s that are loose. Now, I've got some carded up here. You'll recognize that car. I just threw it in with the dragsters because it is a dragster. And then you've got your Nash cars, Metropolitans. I've got three of those, two loose, one carded. And some of my other drag racing cars. There's an oldie. Had that when I was a kid, but it was missing the red plastic. This one's in such good condition. The plastic's there, and the flames are still on it. Nice piece there. And moving on, you get into my funny car collection, which is one of my most favorite collections. Blue Hawaiian there, sitting on the trailer with the tow truck. Uh, I think that's a Dodge. Yeah, a Dodge 350 tow truck and trailer and got the blue Hawaiian funny car on it and there's a remod that's a uh, oh the the silver hot wheels I'm going blank here y'all forgive me as I move on that's a I remodded that to be pro street you can see the willy bar and the and the uh, air dam on back and uh, of course the hood scoop uh, moving on more of my funny cars and I got a few more to show you, so I'm going to move kind of fast here. Rolling Thunder cars. And that's the end of the, the dragsters. Got some carded Hot Wheels hanging beneath that. And then below that are my all loose cars. And I've got some stuff in the way here, so I'm going to move that. There's my 4x4s, some Monster Jams back there in the back, and Jeeps in the front, and Ford Broncos, Chevy trucks, Jeeps again, and whatnot it's all four-wheel drive and beneath that i've got some high-end uh loose hot wheels your uh, ferraris and lamborghinis and whatnot and there's some american cars in there as well 
and my semis in the back still in the package the interstate one is uh, Lamborghinis there and beneath that there are some more oddball loose in loose uh, odds and ends uh, some of these are Hot Wheels a lot of them are McDonald's uh, cars that were put out in the Happy Meals and beside that these are cars 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 that uh, came in sets that I ordered off of Goodwill I uh, don't want those really but they came and I ended up with quite a few of them and beside that are my uh, Hot Wheels cases on display in a pallet there and a couple of those are full and then beside this display I have the back of the uh, Auto World I showed you Auto World earlier that's behind Auto World Let's see if I can stand up and get a better shot okay there's a couple of them the hobby shop green light and uh, a couple of uh, oh, there's old El Camino and then a couple of hot car haulers Hot Wheels car haulers there's my store car hauler I like my store some people don't like them but uh, I've got to argue they've got a good styling that looks good good I mean I wish Hot Wheels would put stuff out like that I know that's a little bigger than Hot Wheels but anyway I, I love M2 green light my store Hot Wheels uh, Matchbox, uh, I'm into all of them. So there's my food trucks in the corner there, some odds and ends, uh, some more uh, carded Hot Wheels. If I can get the glare out of there, there you go. Just some odds and ends. There's the old 55 gasser and a Challenger, or Charger, I'm sorry. Old convertible there. Probably worth a penny or two. Some of these are pretty old. There's some Mopar power. I'm sorry, that's not Mopar. That's Chevy. I was thinking that was a Plymouth. That's a Chevy. 62 Chevy Impala, I guess. Okay, moving on. I'm getting hung up here. Some teen cars there. And some more hot rods, loose ends. Uh, just stuff that I really don't have another place for. Just got that recently at Big Lots. Matchbox police set. And moving down, there's my uh, postal trucks. Uh, got to let out a secret. I am a postal employee, so I've got them all collected here. All the postal trucks by Johnny Lightning. And then Green, Green Light makes a few. Uh, there's the actual delivery mail truck with the little guy, little model of a guy standing in there with it. I've got another Green Light one over here that's got a model of a guy with a big truck and then beneath that's my car haulers uh, that's a remod there i made that one myself that's the cab off the the tanker that i put on the square body chevy this is the front end of it i made it a flatbed hauler got a van and a remod van that i did on the back of it uh, the van has real wider real riders on it and so does the tow truck there's another maestro car hauler in the back there that's a Oh, hitch and go, but it's the many houses. And one of those items you would buy at Toys R Us. I got that at Toys R Us before they closed. Some more Hot Wheels car haulers there. Uh, moving down, you've got your wagons. All my wagons. I've, those are fire chiefs there. Uh, and then above that, some wagons. And then some old collector's items hot wheels loose items down there on the bottom odds and ends and whatnot that's about the end of my uh collection i've got some there's a side of my display there where the auto world is there just some decor and now underneath this orange collection three drawers are full there's my 50th anniversary uh, cars the black gold and whatnot and then a couple other 50th anniversary cars and there's a set I forget what the name of that series is but I've got the whole set Ozzy Osbourne car in the corner there this uh, this set here was the European uh, collection series and I've got the whole set of those and of course I'm starting on the next drawer these are all my compact size racers uh, the drawer full of them just all Hot Wheels, Fair Lady, Nissan Skyline, and whatnot, cars like that. Not in that drawer yet. And then, of course, back over to my M2 display. The first drawer here is, I've got my light clamped in the way there. 
see my big clamp light to shine on my other displays that's the forces again uh, in the drawers beneath the M2 collection there are more hidden treasures more M2's in there uh, some series completed and some just started but that's about the end of my collection this is my but the wife calls it a toy room uh, this is my work room I call it and uh, that's my collection I showed you what I'm working on latest and I've got a box opening but uh, I just got this in the mail just a minute ago sitting outside and in my deck screen deck and uh, enjoying the morning and the mailman brought me my latest order I can't show you the front of the box right now I haven't blacked it out like I said I just got it I can tell you a little about it and it'll be my next video it's one of the latest of 2018 series and it is the team haulers uh, there's I think there's six of them and this is three of them they haven't put well they've put them out all six of them but uh, it's hard to find the latest three the last three but the first three I've got here in this box, and I'll make another video. This video is way too long. So, uh, YouTubers, diecast fans, uh, this is Altered Autos, and this will be the permanent uh, workroom. You'll be seeing more videos from here shortly. Uh, thank you guys for watching and being interested. And I uh, give a shout-out to any of you that are interested in this hobby. It's just a great hobby. I love it. And you'll be seeing more of me uh, and under Altered Autos, uh, it's a good shot of my workbench there. That's where my big tools are in those drawers down there. And, of course, I've got stuff in this drawer. That's my donor cars for motors and wheels and whatnot. But, again, uh, long video. Just a shout-out to all you guys that are a fan of this hobby. I'm glad to be in the brotherhood. You guys take care. Have a great day, and God bless.